Hi guys! So today I am going to show you my live sound setup for both acoustic and electric cellos. First, uh, this is my main pedal board. Uh, this is from West Coast Pedal Board, and it's a very, very heavy, uh, but also heavy duty road case. So basically, oh, okay, my board is in here. Open these. You can also use it like as a table because it's really strong. Just open it. My pedals are in here, and the whole thing just comes right out like that. The great thing about this board is that all of the connectors and whatnot, and even the uh, power supply, are mounted underneath. And so I can just plug uh, my instrument directly into here. Uh, the power is here, and the output is here. So you don't have any like unsightly wires you know, everywhere. Everything is pre-mounted underneath. It says, uh, Tina Guo, can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Hi, so I wanted to show you guys um, what these pedals sound like. I obviously usually have them on the ground because I'm stepping on them, but just for you know this video so you can see more clearly it's up here. Um, using the wah pedal is going to be interesting or attempting to. Uh, so the first thing that, um, the most important thing for me as far as the tone shaping of my Yamaha Electric, so this is what it sounds like uh, without anything, just completely dry. <laughs> So the first thing I do is I turn on the equalizer. I just have the bass boosted, so. So the, the high end naturally is totally fine on the uh, electric without any EQing, but I personally prefer a little bit more bass end, so that's what it does. Uh, I have my tuner, which you know we all know how that works. Um, this is what my distortion pedal sounds like. Right? And so without it... Okay, and then the octave bass, I have a set currently on a full octave lower. So it's kind of cool, nice little effect there. Um, this tiny little adorable yellow uh, pedal is the Yellow Fall Donner pedal, which is a delay pedal. Um, I have a set, I don't know, somewhere in the middle. So, right? And for me, it's really nice, um, you know, just to have kind of repeating loops. So if you do something like... It's kind of like a watery, fantasy-ish sound. Uh, my reverb, I have a set on church. Right, and if you combine, you, a lot of times I'll combine the delay and the reverb. So. This is uh, the Crybaby Wah. I've used a lot of different Wah pedals and I always come back to this one. Um, so it's a little bit awkward because it's so high up right now so I can't really step on it. But um, we turn it on by pressing up. So this is... So it's kind of a cool little Wah effect. Wait, maybe I can reach it. Hold on. <laughs> this is not how you're supposed to use it, you guys. Don't use this as an instructional video. It's supposed to be on the ground in front of you, but... Wait. Okay, that probably looked really awkward, but there you go. Those are my pedals. I also have this. This is new. This is also from TC Electronic. Um, this is a new, like, all-in-one uh, effects Nova system. And when I travel, sometimes, you know, this whole situation is a little, it gets a little bit heavy. Uh, a lot of times when I go do sessions or whatnot, I actually don't even bring the case. I'll just put, pick up the pedal board and put it into my trunk and carry it that way because it's a little bit lighter. Uh, but I, when I travel and when I fly, I've actually found that this 
is really really awesome because it has I have it set you know you can um, set into different things but there's a pitch shifter so I use it also basically as equivalent of the uh, octabase pedal so the pitch shifter reverb I have it set so that it sounds again very similar to the um, TC electronic Hall of Fame pedal the setting that I like uh, this is a compressor, which is always useful. Drive, again, there's a lot of different settings for uh, distortion. So I have this drive set to distortion. Uh, the mod, I think I have it on a phaser right now. Uh, delay, is delay pretty self-explanatory? Boost uh, makes it a little bit louder. There's a tap tempo, there's an internal tuner. So it's, you know, really, really light, much, much lighter than this. You know, I really love to use real pedals and I try to do that whenever possible, um, just because it's, I don't know, it's like analog, it's more, not that digital is fake or anything, but it just feels more real to me. I don't know, maybe I'm just old school, but uh, so I usually try to use that, but uh, for, you know, for ease of transportation, this is really, really great. Uh, and I actually haven't fully explored all the other, um, you know, different settings in it. So I look forward to trying it out. And next, I wanted to show you guys a little bit more equipment having to do with the electric cello performance, uh, as well as some microphones and pickups that I use on my acoustic cello. So I keep all of my music equipment and all other equipment um, in little boxes. This is a little snap-in, what is it called? Snap-in store uh, that I got from Amazon. So on this one, I have it labeled cello supplies. So let's see what we have in here. Open this. Uh, let's see if you can. So in here, I have strings. Strings are important. Uh, these I use for my electric. I have some of these. Um, I have a lot uh, on my acoustic cello, which is the 1878 Gone and Bernadelle. It's a French cello made in 1878, so he's really old. Uh, I use Larson MagnaCore, so I have two extra sets here. I have another set in my cello case, uh, and then I have some other uh, Larson strings as well. So these are my strings. Um, I have a lot of rosin because I go through a lot of rosin from Kolstein and Sons. So in different uh, grades, I have a medium, so it's a little, and a little uh, stickier. Uh, as well. This is my cello stop. I'm very irresponsible and I never use it, but this is basically to keep from poking holes in people's floors, which I usually do, so sorry. Um, but you put it on the ground, there's a rubber backing, you stick the cello in pin in there, which is really sharp, and then your cello doesn't move and you don't damage property of others. Um, and then I have instrument polish, also from Kolstein's, a polish and cleaner. There we go. And clean little microfiber cloths. So that is what is in this one. So this is a predominantly a acoustic cello uh, supply box. And then this, oh my gosh, okay. This, ta-da, is another stop in store from Amazon.com, my very favorite store for everything. And in the front, I have it labeled in case I forget what's in here. Uh, apparently in here, I have electronics, hard drives, in-ear monitors, headphones, a mic stand, my travel mic stand, uh, a speaker, USB speaker, my Apogee mic, my DPA mic, and my pickup. So a lot of uh, live sound stuff. So I'll take this off. Inside, I have it filed like this. Can you see it? Okay. <laughs> okay, so first thing we have, oh my gosh. Okay, this is my most fi favorite. Uh, this is a DPA 4099. I use this on my acoustic cello. It comes with the carrying case. Um, so this is what it looks like. So you basically pull it out and there is a, I'm not gonna take the whole thing out right now, but there is a, um, okay, apparently I am taking it out. Um, <laughs> there's a clip on the back and this actually goes onto the strings uh, right under the bridge. So I'm trying not to make a mess here. You clip this on. This is a super sensitive, really high quality microphone. It's really nice. I've had no feedback issues, even playing in really loud venues on the acoustic. So it goes like this and you just clip it onto the strings. You bend it. I like to put it over the F hole on the right. Um, in the instructions, it says that you should put it uh, right in the center of the instrument, but I just have this obsession with like low boomy noises, probably like way too much, uh, very, distasteful, uh, but I like it to be as like fat and loud as possible. So I put it right over the base side of uh, the sound coming out of that F-hole. So that was my DPA acoustic cello microphone. Um, I also use a pickup. Uh, sometimes when I played on, 
I think American Idol, and there's some particular TV productions or whatnot that just for some, you know, whatever reason, really prefer pickups. I actually don't like to use a pickup on my acoustic cello. Um, if it's something that's super loud or amplified uh, or has more of an, uh, a guitar-y tone, I always use my electric cellos. But um, this was the best option that I found for an acoustic cello pickup that actually doesn't require permanent mounting onto the instrument because I really don't want to alter uh, or damage my fine, you know, my fine classical instrument. So this, it's pretty, it's actually really heavy. Uh, this is a, what is this? This is a uh, realist, the realist sound clip. Um, and it actually screws directly onto your bridge. You don't have to do anything, it's not permanent. So uh, if this was a bridge of the cello, my finger, let's not try to get trapped in here. You just kind of tighten it. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> the things I do for demonstrating. Ta-da! So that's what you do. Um, and then they can plug the audio cable directly into here underneath. And that's it. And the sound travels through this copper thing right here. Uh, and this at the end is actually a weight. Um, apparently the looser you make it, it just basically changes the tone of the sound. Um, you know, it's not the most ideal application because obviously if you're clipping something heavy or anything onto the bridge, it makes it uh, muted. Uh, and this is very, very heavy. So it has a muted sound, but it is a pickup that doesn't require you to take off the entire bridge and, you know, apply something there. And it has this uh, little clip and another key ring if you want to carry it around on your finger or on your belt clip. Uh, okay. And then I have my uh, in-ear monitors. Uh, these are by JH Audio. They're custom molded uh, into my ears. So they come and they clean your ears for you. I had a lot of wax. Uh, they clean your ears and then they mold these uh, headphones. That even has my name on it. I got these in 2011, uh, thanks to Cirque du Soleil, when I did the Michael Jackson The Immortal World Tour on the electric cello. Uh, and they had uh, these JH, JH Audio headphones made for everybody in your monitors. So I'll just show you what they look like. I have a clear pair and a nude pair. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, and the nude pair has my initials. TG, it's probably really far, you can't see it. Um, and this is what the inside of my ear looks like. <laughs> And yeah, these are, I mean, you can also use them into your, in your phone as headphones or whatnot. Uh, it really blocks out all sound because it's directly molded. So it covers the entire uh, outside of your ear or this part. Um, so these are my in-ear monitors and okay, now I have to. Next, I have this little case. This is Apogee on it. I wonder what it is. Um, this is, oh wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. So. I have an Apogee mic. This is not technically live sound application, but I guess if you're recording yourself live, uh, this is a great USB microphone. It connects via USB port directly into your laptop or your computer. Um, so if you're wanting to record maybe your live performance, uh, it's really good quality actually. There's a, there's a gain control on the side and you can record your live show very easily. So I have this and then uh, this little guy is very useful for when uh, you're touring and might want to record some ideas. Uh, or traveling and you don't want to bring say your entire uh, interface so I wouldn't want to bring my entire Apogee Duet on the road with me because it's heavy and it's fragile so this is super well I don't want to throw it in the air because I, I might not catch it and that would be bad um, but it's like super light and plastic and it's the Apogee Jam and again it's a USB um, output into your laptop or whatnot. Uh, you plug it in here and then you plug your quarter inch cable your guitar based electric cello directly into here gain control and then it records directly into your laptop. So you don't, it's like a mini, tiny, mini interface. Um, and it has this case, has a little uh, stand. The stand is for the microphone. And that's what I have in here. So there you have it. Uh, that is my live sound setup for both my electric and my acoustic cellos. Uh, all the equipment that I showed you, I have used everywhere from very small, you know, club venues that only fit 50 people um, to arenas. And this is, you know, the actual equipment that I've tried after trying all kinds of stuff that I found have had no feedback issues. Um, very, very dependable. None of the stuff that I've shown you has ever broken. Knock on wood, woods, wood, um, that it won't, but it's really, really high quality. So I definitely recommend it. And it's what I use. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video if you like it. Um, and feel free to share with your friends. If you have additional questions about my sound setup for live performance, please leave comments below and I will see you soon. Bye.